Hello, APM Foodies. My name is Annabelle Agbadion, and on today's episode, we're going to be having the president of Fresh Republic and the CEO of Prunes Reality. Her name is no other than Vivian Ekwe. be here on this show. I hope we have an interesting time today. Yeah. Annie, how are you doing? Fine. So good to see Aww. you. <laughs> so nice to have you around. Thank so you. Vivian just came into town and I had to grab her that she must teach me one or two things. And so on today's episode we're going to be learning Hello. we're going to be learning how to make Oba the Enugu way in yes. style. So I'm sure all of you are itching and learning. I'm trying to learn how to make Oba. So on today's show, I'll be showing you a very easy way to prepare Opa the Indigo way. So let me stay tuned. So for this recipe, we'll be needing Bambara nuts powder, which is the Opa flour. So you can, you know, Google Bambara nuts and you know, read up about it. It's actually a very proteinous um, nut that yeah. you can use, you can consume. And we'll be needing palm oil for this fresh. video as well, fresh palm oil. And then we'll be using red habanero peppers yeah. and salt. So that's all. It's actually very simple. So the first thing we will do is to help me with this, please. Yeah. In this bowl, I'm just going to add some of this flour into the bowl. As you can see, so we have like one spoon now. So so far, this has been about five spoons. This is the sixth spoon, mm -hmm. and then seven. So I'm just going to do half of this bowl, and I'm going to use two of these spoons. Of red oil. I think that's not enough. Three should be enough. Mm. Yeah. So because we want our bat to have really, um, you know, reddish color and texture, this is what we do first. You have to mix this with the red oil, palm oil rather, completely. You notice it's clumping up. You have to form like a do. Now, the reason we do this is so that when you add hot water, the, the palm oil does not separate from the flour itself. So you have to keep doing this consistently until everything is properly blended. And if you notice that maybe the, you know, the oil is not enough from your mix, you can add. No, no, this is enough. So how you know it's enough is look at the color. If you come closer, if you come closer, you'd see that this is very orange in color and it's already picking up all the whites. Mm -hmm. So how you know you've done a proper mix is when you no longer see any white part of the flour. Yeah. So I can still see some whites. I have to keep blending in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need help with the pepper, right? And yes, we need help to the pepper. You could just help me out. For this quantity, we might need about four peppers. Because most times. Okay, you can, if you like a lot of pepper, you can use five. <laughs> you can use five. Alright, so we're almost done with this part. So, this is how you know it's been properly mixed. Can you see this? See, can you, can you see? So that's how you know you're done. And then at this point, you add our hot water. Fine. Anyhow, it's going to be in the middle of the when it becomes the center of the bowl. Oh, but this is really, really strong. I like the smell of this. 
Okay, so at this point, we are going to add the hot water. So watch me add this. You notice that I did not add all the hot water at once. So I'm going to keep mixing in bits, little bits. This is the tricky part. It can, you know, really hot at this point. But we're already used to this. So you have to keep adding and mixing. So the essence of doing this is just so there will be no clumps okay. in your bag when you're mm -hmm. done with things. That's how we know you're making a bag like a pro. You have to keep doing this. When you blend the first part, you add the second part of the water again, okay. and then you continue. So what consistency are we looking for? So it's going to be, it's going to look rather watery because we want your fat to be soft. Okay. So because this is proteinous, it mm -hmm. coagulates. Okay. You notice it's already coagulating. Mm -hmm. It's already gummy, right? That shows that this has a um, high quantity of protein mm -hmm. in it. Yes. yes. So we keep doing this. As it's blending, we keep adding water. Okay. So in the villages, most people prepare this thing with freshly squeezed palm oil, like yeah. the palm nut oil. Like the one for exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that has a a more natural oh flavor. God. I can just imagine the taste. Mm. <laughs> you can smell it already, right? So we have to keep back. Offer blending girl. and blending. Continuously, this is the hardest part. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's no clumps and then exactly. Okay, we're getting there. So you can see the consistency. You notice that the clumps are disappearing already. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to add all of the water now. Okay. So I have added more water to this, as you can see. Now you know you can look at the consistency. Let me just try to use a spoon here. So this is how you know you have arrived at the right consistency. It's not too thick and it's not too watery. So this is when you know that your pie is actually going to be really soft and delicious. Okay. To introduce the salt. This is like a half tablespoon. Yeah. I'll need like two teaspoons of salt. Ooh. So that means we use four of this. Yeah. It doesn't turn out quite like that. No, it won't. That's enough. That's the last one. Okay. And then we'll also introduce the pepper. Blend it by me. Pepper is really strong. Are you sure you want to use all the pepper? It's actually oh, very hard. Just add, yeah. That should be enough. Okay. So here, right now, I'm just going to have to take off all my gloves because I don't need them anymore. So I'm just trying to mix all of this up. So this is one cup. Two cups. Three cups. You don't need more. Let me see. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more for this one. Four cups. We need, we're definitely gonna need about five cups. Okay. Right. That should be enough. enough huh? yeah. First of all, we need to bring our water to boil, which is what's already happening. And then we have to tie this. So this is what I normally do. So sometimes you can be alone all by yourself, and not have anyone to assist you to, you know, fold this um it's plastic, so the top part is a bit elastic. Okay. So once you've achieved this, mm -hmm. this is what you do. You stir. You stir. And then you add. Yeah. This is like a hack, just to keep Make this thing from right? spilling. Yes. And then you put it all in. Okay. And then you tie it. You know, the so tie there might have been any air or... No, no, no. You can squeeze everything out. Squeeze all the air out if you can. So depending on the type of pot you're using, I would recommend if you're using an aluminium pot, you might have to use twice, like two of these, just to keep it from breaking. 
So she like, lined up for this. So this not aluminum. This not aluminum. I think yeah. we're fine. This is non-stick force, right? Yes. You're good. You just need to drop it in. Okay. So we take the process. If you have someone, you know, who's with you, you can just have them hold this. Which is faster, this or this? <laughs> okay, let's try. Me. I think when you hold the formation, it's faster. Okay, let's try. I'm just showing them the half. Um, you know. Okay. Let's just try. You have to. Just hold with one hand. This hand will work. Okay. Maybe no, we'll just do, to avoid. we'll just do the cup next time. So as you can see, um, this is on low heat. Let's see the flame. This is what the flame looks like. So when you open the pot, it should be boiling like this. Just slowly. Allow it to slowly cook. Okay, so our bar is ready. As you can see. Um, this is what it looks like when it's ready but this is not all you would have to let's take this out and put it into cold water so let's just have this two out because this is all we have for now so at this point our bar is ready and i can't wait to see how this is so excited how the pepper came into the center. Okay, so we'll finally come to the end of this episode. So let's have a pick. Can't we just this? Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this is my hand work. Hmm. Hmm? I have missed just this is so long. Hmm. Hmm. I will continue this after. So thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Follow us for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye. See you guys next time. Yeah, bye. To myself, what a wonderful.